Yo guys, it's Thomas and I'm back for you with a new tutorial. So, in this tutorial, we're gonna be looking at how to process a form in PHP. So, let's get started. To start off, open your favorite editor and create a new PHP file called index.php. In that file, create your standard PHP tags. Oops. Beneath your standard PHP tags, uh, create an HTML document. So, let's give it the title of um, uh, form processing and in the body tag create a new form leave the action blank and we're gonna talk about the method in a second so um, the action is uh, actually the file um, which is gonna process your form so in this case we're using the same file for processing so we leave it blank so it can so it refers to the file the form is in so and the method um, defines uh, either a get or a post method when the get method is used you get your parameters in your URL and when the post method is used it is uh, hidden all the variables you pass uh, through the form are hidden so in this case we're gonna use post so in this form create an input type text with a name of uh, name and a placeholder of name column and beneath that um, just give an email address just like this um, name oh um, just set this to email this works um, or you don't see any changes in your desktop browser but when you are on mobile you'll get the, the keyboard with an uh, add sign uh, without switching to the the number keypad so give it a name of email and um, a placeholder a placeholder of email and above the form create a center and in that center tag create an h1 element called sign up to our newsletter so so when you open this in your browser it is just gonna look why isn't it working? Oh, we need to save it, of course. So. Oh, and we need a button. Actually, we're gonna type a break between this. And we're gonna wrap this all in the center. So it is nice and centered. Uh, oh. Let's see if this looks better now. Yes, way better. So actually, we need to um, uh, do a button, uh, create a button beneath the email field. So, <coughs> um, the input with the type of submit. And that's all for the HTML in this tutorial. 
So the next thing we need to do is we need to head over to our PHP. So let me enter some space. So the first thing we need to do in our PHP is we need to check if our underscore post variable is set. Uh, the underscore post variable refers to the variables um, which are uh, uh, passed by the um, form with the method uh, post. So if um, if our uh, s with underscore post name is set, then we can uh, echo uh, just thing, and else we're gonna echo our form. Oops. And then uh, close it. So, the next thing we need to do here is we need to uh, create a variable called name, which is equal to underscore post name and an email uh, uh, variable. Oops. Now we can use um, these variables in our PHP code. So, for example, um, let's echo out um, there. Um, uh, just like this. Their name. Um, you have subscribed your uh, subscribed yourself to our newsletter and then we need another echo um you oh uh, you Oops. You receive your our news letter on um, the email address and then our email variable just like this. So, uh, let's test this out. So, we'll head over to your browser, refresh, it should give us no error. So, enter your name and your email. And hit submit. And there you have it. There. And this is our name variable because I refers our name variable to this variable and this variable is passed through our form which passes it here with our name so if you can uh, see uh, the underscore post and then our uh, array value uh, corresponds with our name in our HTML so and then our the the rest of our uh, message is uh, echoed so you could um, add some more functionality here so you will subscribe to a real newsletter but uh, that's not our purpose so yeah it was pretty much it for this tutorial so i hope you enjoyed it guys and uh, please leave a like and subscribe i'll catch you next time bye